Welcome to Real Physics. This is a series of short clips about misleading concepts in physics and today I'm talking about the strong force. Well, we have the atomic nucleus and it consists of protons and neutrons and the uh, protons repel each other. So there is the idea that why is this nucleus hold together? So there might be a force that overcomes the electric uh, repulsion at short distances and then there was the idea of a stronger force that uh, um, just uh, attracts the atomic nuclei. Well, you can think about but uh, then people were uh, thinking about oh, are forces mediated by particles? There is this idea of the electric force uh, mediated by photons, which is not that sound if you look at the other video about uh, Consa's relations about quantum electrodynamics. And there is not the slightest evidence that uh, gravitational force is mediated by particles. Okay, So the idea at, uh, at in the 1930s was, oh, we can find some particle that is related to the a strong force of the electric nucleus, but all this is very shaky and very vague and uh, there was a discovery of one particle and it turned out to be it's not adapted so they needed another particle. Um, let's say that we don't uh, we don't really understand the nucleus, okay? There is uh, no quantitative theory that predicts any of the of the energy states. Yeah? We have wonderful theory of the atomic shell of quantum mechanics that predicts you all the um, all the spectral lines of the hydrogen atom, but we have nothing that does a quantitative um, that that's a quantitative prediction for the for the nucleus. And we don't even can explain um, the so-called magic numbers, the appearance of uh, 20 uh, protons or 20 neutrons which make the um, nucleus very stable or 20, 50, 80, 2. Nobody can really quantitatively explain these numbers. So what you observe is a very vague, messy model of um, and uh, which is based on this strong force and uh, nobody of the great uh, pre-war physicists like Einstein or Schrödinger would even mention the idea of a strong force. So it's nothing what really um, advances physics and uh, if, you, if you really want to do fundamental physics you don't need a third interaction or a fourth or even a fifth fourth. You, you need to wonder about why are there two interactions, the electrodynamic and the gravitational, force and how can they be eventually unified not wondering about another thing that just complicates matters and so yeah the strong force does not really make sense if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like it and if you're interested in fundamental questions subscribe to this channel